What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be playing Teon. Um, so a lot of things have happened since we last played. Uh, basically, I decided to show you guys a different character and playstyle. Uh, so this is my character, Valcor. Uh, he is a knight, so it's more of a melee based fighter rather than the range based fighter that we had previously. And I wanted to show you guys this just because it's a different way of playing and I've been enjoying the hell out of playing with him at the moment. Uh, now we might switch over to, to uh, Castile the Elf again uh, shortly, but I wanted to show you guys basically some differences here. So he has no access to any spells, most of the spells that we have. We don't get till way later, so the knight gets light at level 10, the knight gets uh, heal at level 20, stuff like that. So basically, we don't get a lot of these spells till later on. So, it's a different character style, it's a different play style, so he has a little bit more stats that we get to put in different spots. So I gave him a high strength, a secondary of constitution, and a little bit into charisma. Now, a lot of people hear this thing about like, oh, how you can have like different pets and things, but actually, if you look at here... Charisma actually does a little bit something different, which if I can, there we go, click the right thing. Uh, Charisma affects the amount of, um, carrying amount of monsters and pets. It also uh, affects the number of clan members if you're a royal, and it also affects the critical hit of knights and royals. So it affects my critical hit. So I felt like that was very cool, cool to have. Uh, some of the gear I picked up is pretty good. We have like the knight's hood, which uh, basically gives us a 2 AC. Uh, we have the Cloak of Protection, which gives us 3, 6, and we have the Default Gear. Uh, we have a Shiny Novice Sword, some Leather Shoes, a Shield, and some Gloves. So, basically, most of it's the Default Gear, but we do have a few goodies in here. Uh, we don't have many potions and everything, uh, but I mainly just wanted to show you guys a different play style and see if we can actually get through this dungeon. Uh, we're going to try to just run through it and hopefully we'll hope for the best. So, I have significantly more life than my previous uh, character, so what we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can't use a scroll here of Polymorph, and let's see, a Nightshade, uh, we'll do a Skeleton, uh, Skeletal Axe Man, so that way we can just kind of walk through this dungeon as fast as possible. Now, I do have a more intense uh, haste potion, but I'm going to save that for when we actually try to go through this completely. Who knows, I might be able to actually just punch through this without having any worries. But we're basically just going to try to see if we can run through this dungeon without having to get into any combat that's unnecessary. So, my overall reactions is that this game's been pretty fun. Uh, it's definitely grindy, I'm not going to lie, it's grindy as hell, but it gives you at least a quality of stuff to do. See, is that, that spider going to attack me? No. <laughs> good, good, good. Because I hate the spiders in this game. The spiders in this game are complete a-holes. They are just mean, mean, mean. Especially those things. Those things will kill you. They're actually one of the few uh, creatures out here that, like, it doesn't matter what level you are, they will kick your butt. So hopefully we can just walk through this without having any issues whatsoever. So it looks like the ghoul's not even paying attention to us. That's good. So we're just going to keep on kind of strolling by here. I can't lie though, the music in this is really good. Like, um, I didn't expect to like the music in this game, but I actually kind of like it. I think it's very uh, good. It's weird though that I polymorph into a skeleton and the skeletons still want to attack me. So like right here, this guy's going to try to attack me. I find that a little strange but it makes sense as time goes on. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try to go south here. And then we'll go here. And then we'll go over. I believe this is the way out. It might not be the way out. Nah, it's not the way out. Damn. I know roughly how to get around this, but I'm still kind of a newbie to this maze, so. There we go. Just kind of get whizzle all our way on through there. All right, we got a lieutenant. Do you think we can kill it? I think we can. He hits pretty hard, but I think we got this. Bam! Down you go. Hashtag owned. All right, we're going to slip on by this uh, golem. No reason I'm picking a fight with him. We got Nat here. Uh, Nat's basically a good way of knowing if you're going the correct way or not. Alright, we got an archer. 
So we'll kill him real quick. Kill the Axeman real quick. Alright, and we'll chill here for a second. Um, just so we can kind of regain our health up. Uh, look at some of our different things here. So we have like potions for of emerald. We'll definitely have that. We got a scimitar. That's kind of cool. So we can use that scimitar probably uh, to sell in the marketplace. Which I can... I'm probably going to die eventually. But I'll show you guys the marketplace when we get to that. Uh, we'll take another potion of that. It's one of those sad moments where I didn't bring any health potions with me. But that's okay. On Castile, we have a lot of health potions, so uh, it'll be really exciting once I'm able to actually show you uh, some of the stuff in there. So, with her, I'm, I, I'm trying to level her up to 30, but I wanted to show you guys just kind of like a different episode. Oh, and we'll focus on killing the Spearman here. Alright, so we'll kill him real quick, and then we'll attack this guy over here. There we go, perfect. Everything's going smooth. And we'll just keep on uh, going here. We got an uh, Axeman here. We'll kill him real quick. We're getting a little low on life, though. I can't lie. But, hey. That's a dungeon run for you. Uh, with these types of dungeon runs, you're really going to be doing them over and over and over again until you get it right. So, I don't expect to make it through all of these. So, yeah. Like, right there we died. But that's okay. But, basically, that was a good dungeon run. Uh, so what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to get like, a lot of potions here. So I have a lot of money. Um, basically, I've been kind of uh, bouncing back and forth between Castile and Valcor here. Uh, so let's see if we can't withdraw all that money that I put in there. I put a thousand gold in there just to help us out. Uh, and then from there, we can try to get ready for the dungeon. Honestly, I probably should just click that. <laughs> Uh, real quick though, let me actually show you guys the marketplace. The marketplace is very interesting, um, and it's something I haven't really covered in the game, uh, and I really, really should because it's one of the way main ways you can make money. So there's a lot of different gear, and people like to upgrade it and stuff. So if I go here real quick, so basically what you can do is you can buy all your different spell books and things. Um, besides from the lady to the south, which you can get a teleporter for that. But basically, you can look at all these different things, and you can pick up different potions and things, the amounts, uh, it tells you how much they are, things of that nature, and it's very interesting to actually look at. Uh, I, this is where I get a lot of my decent swords at and everything. Like, for example, I have a sword that I can actually equip now, which is down... where is it? Here we go. I got an 8 to 12 sword. So this sword is a little bit... Uh, better when it does this right here and it gives us plus one strength so we're going to be using that sword so that's like an example of something i bought now if you're trying to sell something so for example um i don't know we'll sell uh we'll sell these so we'll sell these for let's say one thousand gold uh i'm probably ripping myself off a little bit but that's okay um just for because it doesn't really matter to me that much uh, yes, we'll sell it. So it gives you a small deposit fee, and then there you go. So that's pretty much how that works. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to basically go in here, buy a bunch of potions, and we'll see if we can't push through this dungeon. Um, I don't expect us to be able to beat it because it's up to 25 to 40. So we it might take us a while to get through this, but I think anyway, it's still worth a shot. Uh, so... We'll, we'll, we'll get uh, we'll get 25. 25 seems like a good dungeon run. So we'll do that. We'll grab all of our potions here. Put them right here. And then we have polymorph stuff. So we'll be good there. And we can see about this. So first things first. Let's, let's heal us up all the way to maximum. There we go. And then the rest of the time we'll gradually get uh, some health back. Because of my constitution and the amount of stuff I have. So, we'll talk to this teleporter guy real quick. So, the teleporter is really nice. You can click on all the different things. Uh, we're going to do the dungeon entrance. Now, one of my favorite um, areas for grinding, if you are really struggling on levels and you are kind of having a hard time, uh, what you can do is you can kill these floating eye guys. And basically, they give you a tiny amount of XP, but they, have, they don't really do that much damage. So, it's an easy way of just sitting there and grinding and slowly getting out there, especially if you're struggling a little bit. Uh, another one of my favorite grinding spots is over here. There's a lot of orcs and um, different things here. So if you're trying to get like really easy grind, right here's a good spot. If you're trying to get like a medium grind, right there's a good spot. If you're having a little bit harder of a time, and, or if you want to get a little bit more XP, you go up here. 
And then if you want a lot of XP, you go to the south, and you get a lot of good stuff here. Uh, those are mainly like a few of the good spots I found. Um, there's also a really good amount of stuff up here, especially if you're fighting with other people. Like if you have like a party or whatever, right here's a really good spot where you just kill friars and stuff. So that's one of the spots I also recommend as well. Now let's actually go in this dungeon and try for round two again. All right, so we're going to give ourselves a good old haste potion. So haste, give ourselves a polymorph. Uh, let's go with, once again, a Skeletal Axeman. And let's see if we can't punt, like get through this dungeon again. So, I am happy though that not all the polymorphs are just like squeaky clean. Like, still stuff will attack you. So, you know, some of the things that you turn into, the spiders still might attack you or the skeletons might still attack you. It, it, it still adds that la layer of difficulty. So you're not just, uh, it's not like a cakewalk every time you go through a dungeon. Because that can be really annoying after a while. So, you don't want to cheese everything out there. So, we'll see if we can just punch through this nice little dungeon here. And then from there, uh, get out of there. Sorry, spiders scare the crap out of me in this game. Like, the spiders in this game are no joke whatsoever. <laughs> they do that poison, man, and it just hits so hard. Slip on by that ghoul real quick. Gotta say hi, and then you say bye. Alright, so we're almost at the part where it starts to part ways. So, oh, we got our first fight we got here. Let's kill him real quick, real fast. And we'll just slowly walk our way around. We're going to go to the left here. And then we'll curl out and around. So we'll curl out here. And we'll see if we can get ourselves uh, past this and maybe to the floor too. That'd be dope. There we go, and then go over here. The skeleton was trying to get at us, but uh, we were a little too fast. Oh man, spider scares scare me so bad. They they are mean. They are they are the probably the scariest part of this game, honestly. I mean, there's gonna be other creatures once we start getting toward more of the member based areas, but still, they're still one of the things I'm just like ooh every time I walk by them. Alright. Dope, we kill him. And then we'll give ourselves a nice little heal there. And then we'll probably heal the rest as we walk. Also, keep in mind, uh, if your backspace is ever above 50%, it actually affects your, uh, sort of the rate that you heal stuff too. So, keep that in mind. That's something I learned from this lovely thing. If you're ever confused about the game though, they have frequently asked questions. And these guides are really, really nice, especially if you're trying to understand what's going on. So I didn't understand the whole enchanting thing, and I read that, and it, it clarified everything that I needed. All right, so we got we got some skeleton spearmen that are coming out. Uh, let's see if we can't handle them. I think we can. So I think we got this. All right, so we got another skeleton. Heal ourselves up a little bit while we're fighting this guy. Heal ourselves up. Basically, if we can punch through this, we can punch through about anything. There we go. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And punch that last skeleton. Bam. Alright, we got we got him down. Now, let's, let's heal ourselves up a little bit, just in case we face another pack like that. Uh, we did spend a lot of potions, but I think that was still a really good run right there. Okay. So, we're good. And let's go on to the next room. All right, I have I have actually never gotten this far, so we'll figure out soon enough uh, where we're supposed to go. All right, so you're down. And let's see if we can't kill you. Yeah, buddy, we did it. All right, so we spent all of our stuff here, but that's okay. It's a solid dungeon run, nonetheless. See if we can't slip on pie past these guys. Oh man, it is getting tough. Oh nope. I was about to say we don't want to attack the. We don't want to attack the wrong people here. I don't need some angry, uh, <laughs> angry spiders on me. All right, let's see if we can't kill him before he kills us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, sweet. 
Alright, we are really low on life right now. Um, strategy wise would be probably to uh, just sit down, but we're probably going to die anyway because uh, our level. But that is okay. Alright, anyways guys, um, that was just some of the night gameplay. I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, I thought that was a pretty good dungeon run, and I wanted to show you guys, obviously, the dungeon gets much, much more tougher as time goes on. It's a very grindy MMO, so when they, um, if you look at the description, it'll be like, oh, it's a hardcore grinding MMO, and everybody was like, oh, it's very easy, It's very, it looks very light, but it actually does get a little tougher as time goes on. Um, also, keep in mind, the polymorph I have is a level 1 polymorph, so... That also affects like some of my stats and things. Um, obviously, I probably want to eventually look into having like a level two polymorph. So that's eventually what I should probably look into, and also gets a little bit better potions and things too. So uh, we might be playing Castile in the next dungeon run, or we might not. But the next dungeon run I really want to do is have my characters at level 30 and basically able to walk in and just kick some butts, which might happen tomorrow. I might post that by tomorrow. So. Be on the lookout for that, but if you guys do enjoy Teon, I want you guys to know that in the description below, it's the first thing on the top. If you guys want to download that, click that. It shows uh, the company that I've been doing a really good job, and it also, it's a really good game. It's free. Um, I'm not even showing any of the member stuff yet, but as time goes on, I will eventually show that. But I want you guys to look at that, and I hope you guys enjoy the night gameplay and the elf gameplay. Um, maybe eventually, I'm leaving like sort of the royal and the mage for you guys to kind of play, but... Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. I am doing a giveaway as well. Uh, basically, the giveaway will also be posted in the comments. It is for two $20 Steam cards, so very fun. Uh, anyways, be sure to check that out, and I will see you guys next time.